What's up YouTube, it's Adam from Ama Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all about Logic's remote app for the iPad and how amazing and incredible it is. If you have Logic Pro X, you need to get this from the App Store. I'll put the link in the more info section below the video. You need to get this as, uh, it basically brings everything I love from GarageBand and brings it into this Logic remote app that controls Logic Pro X. Uh, it's very simple to set up. All you have to do is when you open up the app, it'll ask you which computer is running Logic Pro X. Make sure you're running Logic on the same network as your iPad is running on. Select your computer and you're good to go. It does everything in the background for you. Like I said, it does everything that GarageBand does on the iPad app, but brings that to this remote and allows you to control logic with all that cool stuff like the chords, the guitars, the drum pads. I'm going to show you all that in a minute. First, I'm going to give you, give you a breakdown of the app right here before we get to anything. Uh, this top corner right here, different layouts you have for your iPad. So right now I have a electric piano on my app. So if I go ahead and hit a note. <laughs> It will play it in Logic. Uh, if I go ahead to my chord stripe, and this is right here. I can play chords of the instrument that I'm playing, which is the electric piano. You also got your mixer. So here's my electric piano right here. As you can see, it's moving Logic as I move it. And you got your key commands. This you're probably going to want to look up to your computer screen. Actually, on this iPad remote app, if you're recording mini data, you don't even have to look up to your screen to edit anything. You can just record everything straight from the iPad remote and just keep your eyes focused on the iPad because it is so intuitive. Let's go to the next one. This is your smart help, basically a PDF version of your uh, of Logic Pro X. If you have any questions, you can search it in there or watch my videos. <laughs> so I'm going to go back here to the chord stripe. And basically to show you that it acts just like your Raj band and controls logic very seamlessly. Up here, if you notice, my key is in G major and you notice my chords are in the G major scale. So if I go ahead and change this to, let's say, A major, logic has automatically changed my chords right here. Fairly cool, huh? There's a little glitch right there in Logic Pro X. You always got to hover over to change the key to what you just selected it to. Uh, what else can I show you? Up here is your transport bar, play record, fairly simple. This right here is to select from next track to next track. We'll get to that in a second. This is your loop, which turns on and off this. This is your metronome, which is that clicking sound. Right here is where you create new tracks and shows you what... Uh, computer selected on undo redo if you need to do anything to undo or redo again this is just a quick overview overview of the app i will be doing more tutorials on it and uh just as of now get it guys if you have logic x get this it's a necessity and this is just a smart help for things in the app so let's go ahead and create a new instrument in it hit this wrench right here and go to new software instrument track for this i like to create a drum track so i'm going to go ahead right here this folder kind of icon and go to drum kit or maybe drum machine boutique 808 logic will bring in my drum pads if i want it with the smart control i could bring that in as well and if i go ahead and adjust a smart control over here it adjusts it in logic as well and you can go ahead and play drums Really cool, but if you maybe want the whole set of drums, just click the drums, and there you go, right there. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and create a new instrument. This wrench right here, new software instrument track. As you can see, it's very quick to create instruments. This time, I want a guitar, acoustic guitar. Why guitar? Because I want to show you that. This is what it is in GarageBand. Your chord playing. Really cool. So now if you have a mini guitar uh, software instrument track, you can go ahead and play. Mm -hmm. 
as you would in GarageBand. Sometimes you wish you had those features in Logic. Well, now you do. Thanks, Apple, for releasing this app in conjunction with Logic Pro X. Again, can't say it enough. Get it if you have Logic X. It's going to really help you with your music production. As I said up here, this is to switch between tracks. So if I go ahead and switch to the next one, Logic will automatically select the proper screen for you. That's for my drums. That's for my electric piano. And that is for my guitar. And you can go ahead there and start recording stuff. And you can go from there and play around with the Logic Remote app. Like I said, this is only a quick overview. But if you have Logic X, get this app right away. Logic Remote is in the App Store. I'll also put the link in the Mornfest section below if you want to bring it up on your computer and look at it more. Uh, for any questions on this, ask me in the comment section below. And uh, for more Log Logic X videos and Logic tutorials, remember to subscribe as more great videos are always coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys soon. Later.